Good morning. This is Kartikeyan Ramanathan, Senior Vice President of Zibu Share and Wealth Management Private Limited. Today we are going to discuss one of the most amazing thing in stock market and option analysis also. So most of the traders is fails to choose a right strike and then the, some of the people is fail to get a right option strike in that particular market condition. So because some of them is accumulated biggest quantity of option so that uh, that option will be in uh, zero at the end of the option expiry. So we have to avoid this kind of situations by this way. So this having a four step process we need to follow the step 1 and step 2 until the step 4 process. These are the first process will be the very mandatory one for the option traders who are entering into the option trade or option buying or option selling like that way. First is step, step 1 we need to follow that. The fund the highest open interest column on both side call and put sides. So because so entire option is having a two side of market direction. One is bullish market and another one is a bearish market. If the market is in a bullish, we have to stay with that uh, call option. If the market is bearish, we have to stay with that uh, put option. So each side put side and call side having an open interest. So in that open interest changes is having uh, is playing a vital role in stock market. So that the step one we need to follow the find the highest open interest column on both side for call and put. Another one is a step two. We have to note the corresponding changes in open interest. So so changes of the open interest is very mandatory one. So the changes will be added more that the open interest area is strengthen if the open interest price is reducing that limit they are liquidating the stocks or option like that way then the open interest value will be reducing so we need to change the correspondence changes of open interest by the step two the another one is step three the support side so the put option side we have to frame the highest open interest area is called as a benchmark one that uh, put option side is act as a market support range. So we need to act based on these levels. Another one we have to change the positive correspondence changes in that open interest area for that put side. The step 4 we have to look for that uh, call option side and then we have to note that the correspondence changes of open interest in particular zone. This step acted as a resistance zone in stock market. So the step 1 to step 4 will be a very crucial part in stock market option trading. Another one in support and resistance zone we have to follow these kind of steps as a mandatory one. So because when the call side open interest is created someone is betting in particular area. For example if the market is floating at 100 if the someone is betting at the biggest quantity in the price of 1200 in 1200 will be acted as a strong resistance of the stock market. So we have to use like this way in this formula. Under one the mostly that thing is right because if some of the clients is regularly using a, trading a stocks like that a penny stocks kind of thing. So they are start accumulating a 500 quantity, 1000 quantity and 2000 quantity like that because the option price is very lower so that they are need to accumulate the entire stocks like that. So by the expiry if the market is won't cross in that particular range then the non-traveled market area will be a zero. So because that entire money called as out of the money. So we have to limit this kind of uh, unnecessity in stock market. When put option open interest, if the put option inside the option open interest has accumulated in that, that is mean that put option open interest creating a biggest support in market. So we need to keep eye on this level, then that level will be acted as a biggest support for market. The same like thing as was what we got discussed earlier in that uh, call side option, that thing will be act as a resistance and this thing will be act as a clear support for the market. So we need to take care of the both side. Then our first step, we need to make a mark in that particular zone. So whenever we identify the open interest area, then we have to make a mark in that zone. So these are the open interest column plus these are the changes. The biggest open interest should be marked by this way. So biggest mark interest, uh, open interest in this area, the option price is 1000 and then the lower side is 1150 so both end we need to mark so this 1150 will be act as a resistance of the market and then the 1000 will be act as a support of the market and then this 1100 is a second level open interest the second level open interest will be acted as a support level 2 and this level will be act as a 
resistance number 1 and then the 1200 will be act as a resistance number 2 based on the open interest by this is a call side this is a put side so we need to mark both areas like a call and put direction so these are the simple steps to follow so then if the beyond that area the we won't take like that options for the strike above that 1000 so because market won't cross there is no probability to cross above that area so that we need to limit this kind of trades and then we have to make a very meaningful trades in option so this kind of strikes if you choose like this now you will get a biggest prof profitability in this market okay so stay tuned and then we will keep updating in all kind of option trading strategies and tricks you should have a happy trading thank you so much